Come in and welcome to my cottage here. 87-year-old Ed Faulkner is taking us inside his room at Brookdale Oceanside. He sits uh, down and pulls out a photo album. This is from McClintock, <coughs> where I get punched and go down the mudslide. Oh, I swatted away, huh? Honest, Mr. Jones, honest. Faulkner has appeared in many Hollywood films, including John Wayne's 1963 McClintock. Oh, this is a fight sequence from McClintock, Pat Wayne. And of course, he beats me up. I never won a fight. Yeah, I was always a bad guy. Faulkner grew up riding horses in Kentucky, which he says gave him an edge for Westerns. Uh, that's how I got started, was, you know, they were doing a lot of Western series. And uh, you had an advantage if you rode a horse. Well, that ought to even things up, farmer. For what? Well, that sore nose you gave me the other day. And the actors from New York, they'd say, do you know how to ride? They'd say, oh, I ride. I used to ride a lot, a lot back, back east. And we'd say, yeah, they were familiar with the horses on the merry-go-rounds. She's telling the truth, Mr. McClinic. We wasn't doing nothing. Well, that's not important right now. They called John Wayne Duke, and Faulkner was in six of Duke's movies. We don't go back without the general. He even played a leading role in Wayne's 1968 Vietnam War movie. They were going to cast it themselves. And it was called The Green Brave. So <laughs> I thought, Stephen the Christmas, how, how am I going to work this? It sounds corny, but I wrote a letter. And I said something like, a dear Duke, like yourself, I want to set it long enough. How about a change of hats, maybe a beret. Faulkner says over the years, he and Wayne became friends. I played literally hundreds of games of chess with him. And as I tell people, I, I occasionally let him win. <laughs> Wayne even casted Faulkner and his family in the 1969 Western, The Undefeated. And Duke came up and he says, are these your girls? I said, yeah. He says, luster. He was wardrobe. He says, put them in wardrobe. And they came out, you know, dressed, and it was a period piece. And that's how they got in it. Were you perchance in the war, Mr. Thomas? Faulkner also shared the screen with the King of Rock. A Brad, maybe you'd better show Mr. B where his quarters are. We'll put him in 7A with Stanley. Yes, Miss Radford. This way. Mr. Bentley, could you cut this for me, please? He was in two Elvis movies, including Tickle Me in 1965 lady that was running this health spa, and she and I were kind of a, you know, <laughs> a number, so to speak. But when he came in, and why well, he kind of swept everybody out of the picture, and I became a, you know, real donkey's backside. <laughs> and he was, he was really nice with me. I enjoyed Elvis, he was a good guy. Sorry I had to do that. Before he was on the silver screen, Faulkner was acting in TV shows. In TV, when I got started, it was 61 years ago, which would make it 1958. When I started, the daily rate was $80 a day. Faulkner was in dozens of movies and hundreds of television episodes, but he says they weren't all classics. The Navy versus the Night Monsters. In a that was the weirdest thing. It, it was the script was no good. It was a bad script. It was terrible. Faulkner says, looking back on his career, I've just been blessed in my life. Faulkner now lives in a retirement home in Oceanside, so he can be closer to his youngest daughter Leslie. At the senior center, he enjoys sharing movies with friends. Every three or four months, I'll pull out one of my movies and we'll advertise it, you know. And I'll go down and I'll tell them this, this movie was made 52 years ago. I was <laughs> 35 when we made it. You go to bed. Yeah, and they say, is that you? I say, yeah. One false move on your part and my men won't miss. Friends, your men have been missing me for years. After the 1970s, Faulkner scaled back his acting. I didn't want to pursue it anymore. I'd done what I wanted to do. I'd made some nice money. He hopes when people see movies he's been in, they have a good time. Oh, I hope they have fun, enjoy the movies. We, we had a good time. Matt Hoffman, KPBS News.